So I did a bunch of digging on some Dakota forums, and I heard that most vehicles with or without the overhead console have the wiring in this passenger side A pillar. So I went and looked, and uh, there were a couple wires in this junction that were unused. Um, so I started hunting. Um, everywhere I found said that the one, the overhead console that I needed was AD. Um, but I saw that this one had a sticker on it that says 2006, and my Raider's a 2006, so I grabbed the AB. Um, if you grab one, make sure it has this pigtail here, coming out of here. Or if you go to a pull em part, you should be able to get that pigtail all the way down to this connector, I think. Um, that would probably be the easiest way, um, but I'm just gonna wire these four in um so what happened is so there's a white and orange a white um a red and black and a fully black and i went over to this connector and you could see these ones that are used and then there were four more in it which is a white and orange a white a black and a red and black and um See if I can do this with one hand. Nope. All right, so there were four more wires in it, and what I did was there's a little brown piece that sits in here. Hold on. There's a little brown piece like this that sits in here. If you take this out, and then on the bottom of the pins, let's see if I can get this to focus. Um, you could push up, upwards, and then pull the wires out the back. So I did that. And then I'm going to put connections on these. I'm going to wire them up. And then I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, but we'll find out. I'm probably going to finagle it somehow with zip ties and one screw because there is a screw hole on the back. So we'll see. All right, so I test fit it. I still got to drill the hole for that. Um, it's not perfect. You got to go slow. Um, I actually went slow enough to where it just kind of pries in there, but you have to cut a little bit around here. There's two knobs. You kind of got to cut out for that. Um, these knobs here. Um, I cut a big hole here and then there is apparently a correct roof bracket, which I didn't have. So I cut, there's two, um, like support braces that look like this here. And then there's two large support brackers over here that I had to knock back. One here on this corner, one here on this corner. So, and it looks like there's a hole, or there's a spot for that screw hole anyways. So I think I might be good. Um, I'm about to run the wires and we'll see what happens. She works. I'm gonna have to get some edging or something to put, to close this gap. I don't know, if you're more careful than me, it might be fine. It's actually really close, but it'll probably annoy me. But I put a bolt in through here, and it just held in through the headliner, and it's it's solid, so. But I mean, everything seems to work, so. I don't have instant gas mileage, I don't think. I don't know if it's supposed to, but still, it works.